Is there going to be cheaper Prime 1 shipping to the U.S.? Find out next. All right, everybody, welcome back. And on today's statue chat, we're going to be talking about some breaking news from Prime One Studio today concerning shipping. Now, if you have been watching this channel, uh, I did a video not too long ago on this very topic, but I am still asked daily what has been going on between Prime One and Sideshow Collectibles. Now, Sideshow has been the distributor for a number of years. Uh, that's how I was able to get um, almost all of my. Um, Prime One products, except for the Joker, who I ordered directly from Prime One, but Sideshow um, has been that outlet. Now, they have not actually had a pre-order on their website for a couple of months now, maybe a little bit longer at this point, and everybody is still wondering what's going on. So that, of course, results in rumors, innuendo, um, all kinds of maybe fake news, if you will, um, concerning what's going on between these two companies. Now, we are not inside these companies. We do not know. Uh, people have reached out to both sides. Uh, Sideshow recently just said, you know, don't believe everything you're reading. Um, and so, as a collector, though, it's very frustrating because we are wanting to order uh, some of these Prime One products from Sideshow if it becomes available. So people are waiting. They're not ordering from Prime One. They're waiting to see what happens with Sideshow. Uh, some people believe that that relationship is going to be over here soon, that, hope, that hopefully Sideshow will still honor all of those old orders. Um, I have my fingers crossed because I have about six or seven still through Sideshow. Um, but a big hang-up for the reasons why people have not wanted to order from Prime One, in the United States at least, is the incredible amount of shipping. Um, it is very expensive and it is because Prime One's products, at least the ones I collect, are one-third scale and some of them are so big that you have to have two boxes like my Mr. Freeze, two boxes, Hush uh, Superman, Hush Batman, two boxes. These statues are massive so the shipping is a problem and it's really incredibly expensive. Now if you live overseas it might not be as bad but the deal was if you ordered through Sideshow you were able to get it through them and the prices were really good if you lived in the United States. I know other collectors out there worldwide, some of you really struggle with the shipping costs and I feel your pain. Um, but we got a really interesting um, you know, message today from Prime One Studio and I want to read it to you. I'm gonna queue it up here uh, and read it for, for you. Okay, here we go. Uh, US customers are getting new shipping, are getting a new shipping method. Prime One Studio is pleased to announce an additional shipping option which gives customers living in the United States a more accessible rate. Please see conditions below. Our estimated delivery time shipment will be within one to three months once the final payment is paid. Tracking number will be provided once arrived in the United States and customs duties and shipping fees will be included in the total purchase amount. Sales taxes and other levies if applicable, applicable uh, sorry, I cannot say that applicable, uh, I still can't say it, applicable, may be charged by your country's customs authority and collected by the carrier. Uh, we appreciate all your support and we will try our best to improve the overall um, of our services. Uh, please note the shipment, shipment method is still in the early stages. If you have questions, it says to go on and contact the Prime One team. Bear with us. We are a small team. We will try our best to be as responsive as possible. Once again, thank you for all your continuous support. So I want to kind of go point by point here um, because there's a lot to talk about. Uh, the first thing, estimate, estimated delivery will be one to three months once the final payment is paid. Okay, so everybody was kind of freaking out about that. So let me kind of explain. So when a, normally, when a Prime One piece, let's say that you ordered through Sideshow, okay? Let's say that that piece is released in Japan. It usually, by the time it gets to the United States and shipped out to us, that's one to three months later. It just kind of varies. Sometimes it's quicker, sometimes it's longer. But there's usually that delay for it to get to the United States and then Sideshow to ship it to us. Now, if you order directly from Prime One, you're gonna get it within maybe a couple weeks after it is out in Japan. Um, I know I was sent uh, my Joker, it got here within a week. It was incredibly quick. So everybody's wondering, okay, well, why would I, I wanna wait those extra months? Well, it's not gonna be any different to me anyway if you had ordered through Sideshow. So that part will be a wash. The main difference is, is that 
when you buy through Sideshow, you are paying for it when the statue is ready to ship to you. But if you order through Prime One in this way, you will be paying when your payment's due, and then one to three months later, you'll get the statue. Okay, does that make sense? You're, you're going to be paying it way earlier than you're actually going to receive it. So that, of course, affects how you plan, how you budget with the payment plans. All of that will have to be changed. But the great news about this is, is that the a lot of people have looked into the prices today. I haven't looked as detailed as some of them, but they're saying that the prices are basically cut in half of what they had been. So if you know it was going to be three hundred dollars to ship from Prime One, now it might be one hundred and fifty, uh, which is going to be sometimes even cheaper than what Sideshow has been charging for some of these boxes. I don't know. Um, the, the The shipping rates have been up and down, and I think that might be part of what's been going on between the two companies. Um, I, again, I don't know, um, but I'm just guessing here. Again, that's part of the problem is we're just guessing uh, with all of these things. But the price, so that, that is going to be one issue there, is you're going to have to pay it off basically earlier before you get it. Okay. Um, customs duties and shipping fees will be included in the total price amount. Now, I really like that because um, in the new year, I was hit with an import fee when I ordered my Joker. Uh, it was $60 that I wasn't expected to pay or expecting to pay. So, with that said, all of those fees are going to be included in the price so you know up front exactly what you're going to pay, uh, which I do appreciate as a collector. Uh, let's see, anything else that I may have missed? <clears throat> Not that I'm aware of. So the other big rumor uh, here lately has been that uh, Prime One might uh, put a warehouse in the United States, which again fuels the fire of whether the two companies will separate or not. Again, I don't know. Um, but I know that it is going to help collectors in the United States if they want to order directly from Prime One. Whether they are able to work it out with Sideshow, that's great. Um, Sideshow will continue its great level of service. It'll get you the statue at a good price, shipping-wise, hopefully, and that'll continue. Um, again, the, the problem is the size of these boxes. But if you are somebody that does want to order directly from the company, um, then you are going to have the chance to hopefully uh, get it at a cheap, cheaper rate, although you are going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Um, now I'm sure you still have the option to pay the full price, what you were paying. Like I said, Joker got to me in about a week from Japan. So um, I don't know if you're still going to have that option or if it's in stock. Uh, if you're going to have to still wait that one to three months, um, I really don't have the answers to that. Again, this is all just uh, unveiled today. But I did think that this would be an interesting topic to share with you guys because um, it, it's just very interesting. Um, to be able to follow along. Um, I do wish, uh, if, if Sideshow, if Prime One's watching this, I do wish that uh, you guys would be somewhat more transparent about what's going on. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm sure you guys are still negotiating things, and that's, that's fine. That's none of my business. Um, but I know that collectors are very concerned. Again, they message me every single day. I'm having to respond, and I don't have the answers. I wish I did. I wish I could say, oh, every, there's going to be a magic wand and everything's going to be fixed and, and just like it was. Uh, people in general and collectors don't like change, um, but I'm hoping no matter what the outcome of all of this is, is that it benefits the collector because really getting charged astronomical prices do not help the collector. It actually makes the collector very frustrated and stressed out uh, because really all we want are these amazing products. We want to spend our money uh, with that company and so we just want to get them at a hopefully affordable rate. Um, again, there's lots of things out of our control, you know, shipping companies and, and everything else. I'm sure that these companies have deals with the shipping companies. I'm sure Sideshow really does because uh, they're able to ship stuff way cheaper than if I just take it to UPS and try to ship it myself. Um, I just shipped a bunch of giant boxes here recently and it is expensive. It is incredible how much these things cost. Um, but these, again, Prime One, especially these boxes are very big, um, which maybe some of that will go away when, when they start focusing on some of the smaller scale stuff. I don't know. But uh, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to be the end outcome here in the terms of Prime One and Sideshow? Uh, do you think they're going to be able to work things out? Do you feel like um, Prime One will build its own warehouse and that could change the game? Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on this because I am very intrigued. And again, I get asked daily, so I know that you're interested in this. Uh, I would absolutely love to read all of your comments down below. And I, of course, 
will read each one and try to respond to each one. Again, thank you guys so very much for that. Um, if you have enjoyed this video today, I do ask that you give it a thumbs up. That does help the channel out. Uh, even if you give it a thumbs down, it helps the channel out. So no matter what you do, thank you for spending your time with me today and watching. I really appreciate it. I love doing these statue chats. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these. I know a lot of the topics we've been talking about lately have been on Rogues Gallery Live, so I don't feel like I've been doing as many statue chats. I would love to know if you like both formats or if you'd rather me do more statue chats than rogues gallery um, let me know your thoughts because uh, again i love to get the feedback i love to hear from you and again if you enjoy the content please give me a thumbs up as always guys i thank you so very much for watching uh, hit that notification bell down below uh, if you haven't already sometimes um, youtube does take that away so make sure and double check that your bell is clicked that way you will get notified every single time i do post a new video i try to post daily or every other day um, and just i can't thank you guys enough for taking the time to spend with me and to, to watch the content. I just, I'm, again, I'm just constantly mind blown that you guys care what I have to say and, and care what I have to show you. So again, thank you guys so very much. Uh, it just, again, means the world to me. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave.